Hey, it's Pat with this week's recap of America's Next Top Model. Can you believe it? There's only one more episode left until we find out who will be the Top Model All-Stars winner. It's pretty amazing. Uh, I have to admit, there's not a whole lot to say about this week's episode because there was a lot going on, but it was all about Tyra. Let's be honest, the four final girls... Anjali, Allison, Laura, and Lisa, easy to remember, A-A-L-L. Um, they, their challenge this week started off pretty simple. They had to drive around Greece, well, Crete technically, and get inspired by their scenery, and they each had to write a blog post for Vogue Italia, Vogue.it, and the editor-in-chief, uh, Franca Sozani, I think is how you say her name, was going to judge their blog entries. First pet peeve. I can't stand when people say blog instead of, like, blog post or blog entry. They're like, they have to write a blog. A blog is a whole thing, a whole website. A blog post is just one thing. So they wrote a blog post, not a blog, okay? Put it out there, pet peeve. Um, so the girls drove around, and they took a photo, and they wrote about the fashion and what they've been seeing in Greece. But honestly, there wasn't, we didn't really see that that much. Franca got to see their posts, and the winner of the challenge was Anjali, which I think is very suspicious, but Anjali was the winner. Okay, great for her. That's all. The photo shoot challenge this week was for the girls to do a motion editorial with Tyra. Now, if you're a fan of Top Model, you know in Cycle 15, they did a motion editorial with Anne and Jane and Chelsea and Kayla. That was very strange and very weird. Fashion places totally do motion editorials nowadays where they have a video of their clothes. It's great. It's a cool new thing. Tyra's from Cycle 15 was weird, so I was anxious to see what this season <laughs> was going to be like. It wasn't that bad. If you want to see some photos from the event, go to a blogaboutthings.com or click the link down in the description here. You can see the photos, which I saw first. I thought the photos were beautiful. I loved the warrior get-ups, the big, long, yellow gowns that the girls were wearing. Um, I just thought it was very, very cool when I saw the photos. I thought, they look so pretty. I saw a couple little previews of them running. Great concept. Yeah, then I found out in this episode that it was actually to go with Tyra's novel, Model Land, which I'm sure is very good. Be honest, I did not read it. But when she started explaining, like, like Laura having to do the scene where she's obsessed with whipped cream and Lisa is playing Tukey's mom who's obsessed with this baby doll. Weird. Okay, just, she gotta put the Tyra spin on it. I don't know. But I thought the, the footage was cool. When they went to panel, they showed um, the edited version of the motion editorial, which was much better than in Cycle 15. But I have to say, when they were critiquing each girl, they were talking about scenes. Did you guys notice this too? I'm sure you did. They were talking about scenes that were not in the edited version that we saw. Like Anjali running awkwardly, and there wasn't anything with Allison in her little cat suit in the final video, which was very cool when they were filming it, but they talked about it. It was just a little weird. Um, when we got down to it, they were going to del they were delete. That's what I said. Hello, internet. They were going to eliminate one girl and keep three, which I was kind of surprised about because in the past seasons of Top Model, they would keep two girls and get rid of two girls, so it was only two for the finale. But not the case this season. They're going to keep three for the finale, which is next week, which is hard to believe. Top Model All-Star is coming to an end. But first call out a panel was kind of surprising for me the best performing girl in the motion editorial was lisa which it was it wasn't surprising that she did the best because i think lisa is probably the best actress but i'm surprised that tyra called her first because she seems to like the other three girls more than lisa in my humble opinion but lisa got first call out followed by anjali which i thought was or anjali however you want to say it which i thought was definitely going to happen tyra has been loving on anjali all season given her Lots of, you know, good chances, which she's she's good. I don't dislike Angeli, but she's she's been very fortunate. So the bottom two were Allison and Laura, and anyone who watches Top Model or is a fan could totally understand that there was no way, no matter who Allison was against, 
Allison was not getting eliminated before the finale, right? Am I right? Like, Allison is the biggest fan favorite. So Laura, even though she's fantastic, didn't stand a chance. It didn't matter who it was. Allison was going to win. So Laura got eliminated. Say goodbye to those little baby cats. And the final three for next week is going to be Anjali, Lisa, and Allison. They said it in the preview for next week. All of those three girls are very different from each other. So I am very excited to see who Tyra is going to pick as her all-star winner. I have a feeling, because of reasons that I won't say, people email me stuff sometimes, but I think I think Anjali is going to be the winner. Not that I think that she deserves it, but I think she is going to win. And I don't say that because of information that people have sent to me. I really think she's going to win. Because I think Tyra loves her, and I think she will have some personality when it comes to the extra correspondent gig that they're going to win for Top Model. I think all, all three of them, Lisa, Allison, and Anjali, will be good at doing express campaigns and writing for Vogue uh, and for all of that stuff. But I think the extra correspondent is, this, is the thing that's going to set them off, and I don't think Allison can win that. I think Allison's fantastic. I don't think she'd be a good on-air host. I think Lisa could, but I think Angelie does better at some of the other stuff. And talk about a story for Angelie. Think about her word, her branding word that they gave her at the beginning. It was persistent, I believe, or something of that nature. And what a good story to say. She tried out for Cycle 12, didn't make it. She tried to 14, she got to the finale, didn't win. She goes to All-Stars, she takes it home. Persistent. All the way... Totally being all about her brand. That's what I think. Next week's finale is going to be interesting. The girls are going to do these crazy photos like underwater and flying. Then they have a runway show where they wear those dresses that they designed. So I'm very excited to see it. And I would love to know what you think about this week's episode and who's going to win America's Next Top Model All Stars. So leave some comments below. If you want to see the photos from this week's episode, click the link down here. Don't honk your horn when I'm making a video. And I will see you next week for the finale. Peace.